Hi everyone, happy fall. Um, how about them minors? <laughs> Sorry, it's all anybody seems to be talking about, but it's very exciting. And there's like probably 400 sermons you could get out of that whole situation. He brought me out and, you know, I'm, uh, I'll rise again and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, so um, I haven't videoed in a while and I um, don't really have a good excuse other than I've been, you know, busy and whiny and, you know, feeling good, sometimes feeling bad, sometimes with this whole having a baby thing. And I'm almost uh, 16 weeks. And uh, for the people out there, mostly men, who do not like it when we talk in terms of weeks, um, let me break it down for you. There's four weeks in a month. And so if I'm 16 weeks, that makes me 16 to about a month. Carry the one. Four. So I'm almost four months. You know, they get kind of tripped up when it's an odd number, like 15. They're like, oh, 15 and how many's left over? Okay, minus two. You know, kind of freaks them out. But almost four months. So, you know, if you have a hard time in weeks. All right. Um, I just wanted to um, pop in because I haven't in a long time. And maybe elaborate on something I posted yesterday. I, I um. I posted that sometimes you need to go and look in the mirror, as painful as it is, and give yourself a pep talk. You know, the Bible says that the power of life and death is in the tongue. And sometimes we have to speak life into our own lives. And, you know, if, if you can't be um, on your side, I mean, you have to be for you. I mean, there's going to be people in your life that are for you. Of course, God is for you. It can be against us, rah, rah. But if you're against you, you know, there's... You've got mail. Oh, I don't want to leave that on. Sorry. Um, that you can... I lost my whole train of thought. Whenever... Um, let me see. Oh, yeah. God be for you. Who can be against you and all that? Well, but if you're not for you, um, you're in trouble. Because you can self-sabotage so easy. You get these thoughts, you get these moods, and you just, oh, you begin to speak death into your own situation. I mean, you're the one <laughs> that you're speaking death to. So you need to speak life. And what do I mean? Go to a mirror and talk to yourself. Go look in the mirror. All right, Sharon McKee, I know you don't feel like doing anything, and you feel dead, and you feel discouraged, and you feel, um, you know, blah, or whatever it is you're feeling stressed, you're feeling depressed, you're feeling oppressed, or any of the other pressed things that I'm leaving out, which doesn't seem likely, um, you know, say, you are a child of God. You have got what it takes to make it through this. You are not alone. You are an overcomer. You are a winner. You are full of the Holy Ghost. All you have to do is stir up that gift. And, you know, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are good report, um, all those things that I just spice that out of order. You dwell on those things, but don't just dwell on them. Speak them out. I'm better than this situation. This will not rule me. I cannot. I can't control other people, but I can control my reactions. I am in control. I am. Um, I'm an overcomer. I can totally do this. I've got this. And you begin to pump yourself up. You know, give yourself a little pep rally, because sometimes you're the only one that's going to do that. And um, you know, it's going to be awkward. You want know, to make sure nobody's listening and maybe not doing it in the bathroom at your work where the mirror is because your people might turn you over to the psych department. <laughs> but, you know, verbalize, speak, speak life, speak life, speak life. Because um, our thought life um, is going to determine the actions that we take. And your attitude is really your thought life turned inside out. Oh, that will preach. Your thought life. Um you know, is evident in your attitude. So when you begin to change your thoughts, you begin to change your attitude and your outlook. And so we do that by speaking out positive things. So encourage yourself in the Lord. Don't wait on everybody else to pat you on the back and, you know, baby you. Sometimes you got to pick yourself up by your own bootstraps, so to speak, and, um, and encourage yourself because life is short and you are an overcomer. You can make it happen. You don't have to live in this state of blah that you've been in. You can snap out of it. Live in the now. Don't worry about yesterday. Don't stress out about tomorrow. Make this the very best day that you can because it's all you're promised anyway. 
Have a wonderful day and see you later.